Welcome. Thank you for viewing this presentation on concurrent and dual enrollment. High school students in the state of California have the opportunity to take community college classes and begin their college transcript. At Sequoia Grove, students can simultaneously earn high school credit in addition to community college credit. Within college circles, the terms concurrent and dual enrollment are often used interchangeably, but at Sequoia Grove, we use these terms to refer to two separate and distinct opportunities. Let's first take a look at concurrent enrollment. Concurrent enrollment refers to our students' ability to enroll in any college course at any of the 116 community colleges in the state of California. California community colleges allow advanced high school students to take their courses without having to pay tuition. High school students earn both high school and college credit for these courses. There may be some fees and costs for books and materials, which can be covered by the student's instructional funds if the course has been added to the student's master agreement. Having the course on the master agreement will also allow for the course to be added onto the high school transcript and count toward high school graduation requirements. Intercession courses, which are predominantly summer courses, are not placed on the master agreement. Even though there is still no tuition cost for summer courses, these courses are still free for high school students, but families will need to pay for books and fees out of pocket over the summer. Instructional funds cannot be used at that time. After grades have been issued for a summer course, the student must request that the college send a transcript directly to our records department or to their high school counselor so that the course may be added to the transcript. Some, communi some community colleges place restrictions on high school students. For example, some may have a minimum age requirement before students can take any course at their college, and others may restrict certain subjects to only juniors and seniors. All Sequoia Grove high school students must take a minimum of 20 high school credits per semester. However, if a student takes at least one college course, that minimum is reduced to 15 high school credits. And then at the other end of the spectrum, Students are allowed to take a maximum of 11 college units per semester, which usually translates to two or three college courses. We provide detailed instructions for application, registration, and enrollment on our counseling website. The student's high school counselor will review the community college course to determine if the course is A to G approved, how the course will count toward high school graduation requirements, and if the course will be awarded an extra GPA point, also known as a grade bump, as other weighted honors classes are. Generally speaking, a semester long three unit college course would cover about the same amount of material as would be covered in a year long high school class. Therefore, any college course of three units or more will transfer into high school as a year long 10 credit high school class. A college course of 1.5 to 2.5 units would transfer in as five high school credits, and a college course of one unit would transfer in as 2.5 high school credits. So that gives you, in broad strokes, an overview of concurrent enrollment at a Sequoia Grove school. As I mentioned earlier, we use the term dual enrollment to refer to our specific agreement with Yuba College to offer college courses open only to high school students. Listed here are some of the features of our dual enrollment partnership with Yuba College. First, colleges are only available to students in grades nine through 12. Most courses are asynchronous with the availability of weekly office hours with the professor. World language courses and public speaking are the exception to that. They may require a weekly virtual synchronous meeting as those are performance-based courses, but all courses are online. There is no in-person requirement. Courses are offered in a two-year cycle and meet both Sequoia Grove graduation requirements and college gen ed requirements. 
Once the student has applied to Yuba College and received, and received a Yuba student ID number, Sequoia Grove staff will take care of the registration and enrollment details. Successfully completing these courses will allow the student to graduate from high school with accrued transferable college credits and a student may almost or even fully complete an associate's degree by the time of high school graduation. We use the Remind texting app and students have the ability to communicate and set up local in-person study groups if they wish. This is our current two-year cycle of dual enrollment courses. But as the program is growing, we may be adding to and adjusting some of these courses. A copy of this chart can be found on the FAQ page of our dual enrollment website. So you may be wondering, which is the better option, concurrent enrollment or dual enrollment? And actually, they are both excellent options, and selection of one over the other depends on each student's individual goals. You can see that with concurrent enrollment, the student has a wide choice, wide choice of community colleges to attend, whereas dual enrollment is solely offered with Yuba College at this time. With concurrent enrollment, a student also has a wider variety of courses from which to choose, whereas dual enrollment offers pre-selected courses with a focus on high school grad requirements and college gen ed requirements. The content and transferability of concurrent enrollment courses will determine whether or not they are weighted and therefore provide a grade bump to the student's grade point average. All dual enrollment courses will provide a grade bump. Students taking concurrent enrollment courses join the general college population, meaning that there may be students in the class who are their age, but there will be many more who are adults. Students taking dual enrollment are in courses that are closed to the general public and open to only high school students. In concurrent enrollment, counselors will evaluate and approve courses and sign the college recommendation forms, but students are responsible for ensuring they are enrolled in the appropriate course. In dual enrollment, once a student has applied to the college and submitted the appropriate CCAP form to their counselor, Sequoia Grove staff will handle registration, enrollment, and transcript requests. And lastly, students can pursue many career technical education courses through concurrent enrollment, courses such as welding, culinary arts, auto tech, and IT, whereas we have not yet defined any CTE pathways in dual enrollment, but we hope to in the future. So that's a wrap on this broad brush overview of concurrent and dual enrollment. If you remember nothing else from this presentation, please just remember that our high school students are able to get a jump start on earning college credit by taking community college courses while in high school. The student's high school counselor will have many more details and will be able to answer any specific questions that you may have. Thank you so much for your time and attention.